Chris, thank you. They have been battling a meth problem there for years, but tonight, police in Breathitt County worry it could be taking a frightening new turn. They say they've heard of a more potent kind of meth, and they fear that could lead to more deaths. Victor Puente has our top story at six. Deputies tell me the number of meth lab busts in Breathitt County has gotten into the double digits this year. Now they're trying to determine if an already deadly drug has gotten even more dangerous. Since January, Breathitt County deputies have found more than 10 active meth labs across the county. They say each time they aren't exactly sure what they're dealing with. You go out and you find ingredients that are a little different in each lab, you know. Clemens says because of the size of the county compared to the size of their force, they rely on the public for tips about those labs. A lot of people want to tell, but they don't want to get involved. They want to tell that their neighbor's cooking meth, their cousin's cooking meth, but they don't want to tell their name. Because of a recent tip, their investigations have taken on increased urgency with a story going around about some meth mixed with another deadly drug. That's a rumor on the streets that there was a bad mess of meth cooked up with bath salt, and it's led to a lot of people being in Jackson Hospital, other hospitals, and stuff. But we can't, uh, at this time, we can't verify that, they, that was it, you know. He says he doesn't know if that specific meth has led to any deaths. Although they have had some overdoses in the county. He says they're waiting for toxicology reports on at least two people who went to the hospital recently, as well as a recent death. If we save one life in the county, it's worth it. In the meantime, they'll continue to take those tips and target those cooks. And make no mistake, if they're cooking meth or selling dope, we're coming at you. We're coming for you. The number for that meth tip line is 606 317 8477. In Breathitt County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Deputy Clemens says last year they raided more than 20 meth cooking operations, including one that had 27 different labs.